Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I'm back to do a bit of an update on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. Again, it's one of those things which I enjoy doing on a sort of semi regular basis. So, without further ado, here is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection as it is today. And as you know, if you've watched my videos before, it's essentially these three shelves in the middle. That's all Texas Chainsaw from 19. 74 the original film from Toby Hooper or at least most sort of like 90% of it is there might be some different stuff But overall that's essentially what it is I thought we would just take a look at some of the new stuff which I got which isn't a lot But I thought I would show you anyway first one we can take a look at this This is a tape only old uh, release from the Netherlands essentially should go in I forget now either in one of these large VHS clamshells or alternatively it can also come with this cover but yeah so I got that but I'm missing a box so I guess I'll have to pick a box for that at some point yeah putting the vintage porn away okay so let's see here is a new bootleg release it's obviously based on the old media home entertainment release just Here's the original version, the official release, which came in a small cardboard carton. It's an American release. And then you can see that this bootleg version is essentially exactly the same cover, but unlike most of the copies that you would see in the clamshell, which would essentially be a cut box, like a cut carton placed inside a clamshell, this is actually, as you can see, a printed, albeit not especially good printing quality, but from afar you can't really tell. Plus, I think it's interesting that this is actually slightly upscaled. Proves my point that it's not a cut cart and it's actually slightly upscaled. So, um, got that from an American collector. This is the only copy I've seen that looks like this. So I'm guessing someone just scanned the cover and printed it out in a slightly larger scale. And it also even has like a bootleg sticker on it. Also scanned off of the tape. Like the regular media home entertainment tape and then partially cut label. So yeah, very odd bootleg. It seems like someone actually took regular one copied both the label and the insert and upscaled it. Another tape which you might recognize from before this is a UK release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Shocking Truth documentary. What's unique about this because I actually have several copies of this already is that you can see we got a red NTSC sticker there and this is because at some point uh, Exploited Films who uh, released this on the UK market they essentially printed a number of copies in NTSC format that you could order internationally and they would sort of print them on demand or encode them on demand. So yeah, this is actually an NTSC copy, which is highly unusual because usually they will just be in PAL format. But apart from that, I mean, the case design is the same, they didn't change the artwork or anything, it's just that uh, simple sticker on the tape which confirms that it is in fact encoded in a different format. So let's see, we got some new stuff here. Another one which you have probably seen before, this is a classic Swedish release, large clamshell, but the reason why I wanted to get this particular copy, this has some interesting stickers on it. It actually says Trondelag Laser Disc. Then there's another sticker down here, which is essentially a 18 year rating labeled for Norway. So why does this Swedish copy have Norwegian stickers on it? Well, sort of hard to understand the history of this, but if you look at the tape, you can see that this actually has, as far as I can tell, an official sticker from Atlantic Film, who is the distributor in Sweden, but here it has its own unique sticker, which says that it's essentially got like the specific rights for company in uh, Norway, which is called uh, Trendelag Laserdisc Club. Now, I don't know if this is actually an official release or if it's some sort of gray area bootleg type of thing, but uh, yeah, it essentially has Norwegian labels and it was essentially, you know, distributed as a rental copy in Norway, even though the artwork and the tape is Swedish. I don't know if the cassette might actually be subtitled in Norwegian. I haven't actually checked that. Kind of weird, but I found it really interesting. I don't know where I should put this. I don't know where my Norwegian stuff is. Let's just put it there. Okay, we got some Blu-rays and some DVDs. We can start with this. It's a fairly new German release from Turbine. It comes in a quite nicely designed diggy book or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to show it in too much detail. Got like a pamphlet in the middle. 
thought it was interesting with this cover. I don't know if this is a mistake. I don't think it's a mistake. I think it's more like a sort of tongue-in-cheek little homage thing. If you look at the cover very closely, and if I go in like this, you can see that there's a small outline of like a star on the sole. You might be thinking, what's with the star? Why is there a star there? Well, this cover is actually based on a really old vintage VHS copy. <laughs> and then you can see that it actually has an actual sticker which was sort of very uh, synonymous with this particular release or releases from this time. And I mean I have several copies of this on like Betamax and they didn't all have stickers. But yeah like you can see most copies tend to have stickers. So I don't know if they just had a really poor material to work with like they scanned a copy that had like some old residue on it. But I'm guessing it's intentional that they actually decided to add the little sort of sticker residue just like a fun little thing for people in the know. Just paying an homage to like the original inherited of the VHS era I guess so I thought it was kind of funny. Some more stuff here this is some fairly new releases from America or Canada. America I think. This is a limited edition steelbook store exclusive and I forget which store this is sorry it's either Target or Best Buy or something something. Nice newly designed artwork and then there's the second one which I guess is essentially exactly the same contents but it's got a different cover art based on the old German cover art which you see there also originally from Turbine but here it's done in like a steelbook design just really beautiful artwork to begin with from uh, Jason Edmiston who does really awesome artwork and that is no wait I got one one more box of which is just down here I actually found this on a Swedish website called the disc shop sometimes they will carry like these import titles from other countries in Scandinavia and so they had this Danish import box set which is just like this uh, horror cult classic Cult Horror Classics, God, I can't read and I can't pronounce it. Cult Horror Classics, five hor horrendous, not a real word, is it? Horrendous movies, okay. So we got uh, five movies in here, and I'll just hold up so you can see the spines. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we got Day of the Dead, The Beginning, we got the Toolbox Murders, Shrooms, and Requiem. And you can also hear that there seems to be a disc loose somewhere. But yeah, fairly cheap box. Got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre keep case, which is in this box set. Sorry for my crappy camera work. But this is the cover art from Denmark. This has been released on its own. And I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere in the shelf. Yeah, here's the exactly the same one in like this standalone release. Which is exactly the same, there's no different, they just bundled it with some other movies in this example. And it's also been released on Blu-ray with like the identical cover, so it's not a particularly interesting release as such. But it was really cheap, so then I definitely wanted to pick it up. I guess we can just put this in over here or something. But yeah, that is essentially it for this video. I don't know when I'll be... Getting a mail. Just got a mail now, apparently. A little bling in the pocket there. Not really sure when I'll be making a new video update on this. I don't know. It feels like it's best to do it somewhat sporadically when I feel that I have time and what I've gotten enough releases. But that's it. I want to say thank you very much for watching and as usual, hope to see you all next time.